Woman removes bandage, exposing the wound. She wants to feed the locusts with her own blood. To keep her family from finding out, she would hide in the toilet each time, withstanding the pain to pull out the locust's remaining teeth. So why did she do it? The woman's name is Anna, the owner of a locust farm. She usually roasts the locusts and sells them. By the look on the man's face, he could tell they tasted crispy and delicious. That's why many snack stores in town come to buy from him. But recently, for some reason, the survival rate of locusts has been decreasing. The number of eggs laid is decreasing. I've tried many methods, but to no avail. This day, she was feeding the locusts in the shed. She fell to the ground. She woke up with locusts crawling all over her body, and the locusts on the wooden frame were feeding on her blood. Anna was scared. She rushed back out. But the next day she found that the locusts that had fed on human blood yesterday had become very active, and many of them started to molt and lay eggs. Anna looked at her injured arm, seemed to understand something. To check again, she untied the bandage on her arm and reached right in. Her Early the next morning, Anna arrived at the breeding shed with great anticipation, but after only one night, the number of locusts had multiplied several times. The eggs were everywhere, so Anna asked Nick, who liked him, to help her to build a new shed next to it. As the number of locusts increased, Anna also became more and more crazy. She cut her arm with a knife. She continued to feed the locusts with her own blood. The The work always pays off. The locusts became more and more productive. As the farm expanded, the old man with the cattle next door was dumbfounded. But the locusts were no longer satisfied by her own blood alone. So Anna ordered a large quantity of pig's blood. Then she mixed it with feed. Over time, this also caused her daughter Lena's displeasure. Because the family fed locusts, she was always teased by her classmates. This day, Lena finally couldn't take it anymore. She rushed into the farmhouse, frantically destroying, releasing a large number of locusts. But what she didn't know was, she had already made a big trouble. The boy looked at the bugs on the glass, sensing danger. In the distance, thousands of locusts flew into the air. Before the boy could react, the locusts rushed straight to the car. The boy hurriedly lowered his head and got down. In an instant, the sky went black. The huge force took away the lamb tied to the steering wheel. Soon after, Anna returned home. Her son told her about the locusts. Seeing the gaping hole in the farm shed, Anna guessed that her daughter must have done it. She drove around looking for them. Finally, in a meadow near the farm, she found the body of a lamb. By now, the locusts had eaten all that was left of it. In order not to be discovered, Anna buried the lamb secretly. When she returned home, she scolded her daughter for letting the locusts go. Then she pretended to go out with her son to look for the lamb. To ease the tension in the house, Anna took the children to the beach for a vacation. At that moment, Lena sensed some Something unusual. It was a hot summer day, but her mother kept wearing long-sleeved clothes. However, she didn't know. Her mother was trying to hide the scars. When she returned, Anna bought her daughter a long-awaited motorcycle and sent her son to soccer camp. As the locusts grew in numbers, Anna expanded the farm again. But there was a shortage of pig's blood on order to keep the locusts from starving. Anna again drew her own blood to feed them. After a few days, Anna's body became very weak, thinking that this was no way to go on. So she kidnapped a neighbor's puppy in the night. Then she brutally stuffed the puppies into the breeding shed. Eat. One puppy was not enough for the locusts, so Anna thought of the neighbor's cows. As the number of locusts grew, Anna had gone into a frenzy. Even the neighbor's cows were decreasing. At this point, Anna was as crazy as she was. That day, her daughter came to see Anna. She found no one in the room, only saw a pile of bloodied clothes on the floor. Then she went to the farm shed. She saw a frightening scene. Lena sensed that something was wrong, so she went to the farmhouse, and she saw a horrifying sight. The mother was feeding the locusts with her own body. When Anna raised her head, Lena was so scared that she ran back home and locked herself in her room. After regaining her composure, she sent a message to Nick for help. Anna's body was very weak, so Nick took both mother and daughter to his home. Just as Lena was about to tell Nick the truth, Anna suddenly appeared, interrupting the conversation. On the other side, the old man who lost his dog and cow came to the barn to look for him. Seeing the corpse of his cow, he gets angry and destroys the locusts. The locusts instantly swarmed out and pounced her to the ground. In the evening, Nick sent the mother and daughter back, suddenly heard a movement in the farm shed, so he went in to check it out. He saw his neighbor's body and the remains of the animal. He rushed out of the shed. At this point Nick also seems to understand something. In order to prevent Anna from making the same mistake again, he brought gasoline, burned down all the barns. Anna ran to try to stop, but it was too late. Thousands of locusts flew out. They came straight to Anna's house. Nick ran into the house, trying to protect Lena, but there were too many locusts. By the time Anna returned home, Nick had been bitten to death by the locusts. Although Lena escaped, but the locusts followed her. They ran to the river. There there was no way out. Lena turned the boat over and hid underneath, but the locusts didn't leave her alone. They kept crashing into the boat. At that moment, 
Anna also ran over. Seeing the scene in front of her, she hurriedly took out a knife and cut her palm. Then she put the blood on her face, attracted all the locusts. She wanted to use her own life for the safety of her daughter. In the end, Anna escaped by hiding in the water, and the locusts all died because of drowning. This story tells us, human desire is infinite. We should stop in time. Hold the right measure. If you are too persistent, you will be devastated. Don't forget to subscribe, for more videos like this, on Recap Next.